Hi guys, Leah here. So I am going to be doing this training on the introduction to brand development. And I just wanted to welcome all of you guys. I wanted to welcome all of the new members, everybody that's a part of this group, Boss Moms. If you guys don't know me, uh, my name is Leah. I am the creator and owner of the page. I am the creator and owner of the brand. I am the creator and owner of the Facebook group. So I'm going to be going over just a free training resource for you guys to use in your businesses because obviously, you know, this group is a mom group, yes, but it's also a mom group for moms in business. So I'm offering you guys this completely free and let's just get started. So I want you guys to know if you have not printed this off already, if you guys are going in and you're watching the replay to this, um, there is a training worksheet that goes along with this. It looks like this. Uh, there's a training worksheet. I posted it in the group. It was a couple posts back. If you can't find it and you're watching the replay, go ahead and just go in the file section. It'll be under Introduction to Brand Development Worksheet. It's in a Word document so you can print it off and use it for your business. Um, this is pretty universal for any business. It doesn't just have to do with Luminous. It doesn't just have to do with my business. Um, it can have to do with any brand. So the first things first, we're going to talk about your brand. So having your own brand is what sets you apart in the marketplace from everybody else who's selling basically exactly what you're selling, okay? So your brand is what makes you unique. Your brand and the success of your business directly correlates to the value that you bring to other people. So the more value that you bring to others, the more successful that you be, that you will be. So on this worksheet here, there is a little area where you can take some time and answer the question that how can you bring value to the marketplace? Okay, guys, because when you're bringing value, yes, you have products or services, right? Okay, so maybe you sell jewelry or you sell handmade crafts or you sell makeup or, you know, it doesn't matter what you sell. Um, what matters is the value that what you're selling brings to other people because people aren't customers. People are not going to buy your product because it's your product, okay? People are going to buy your product for what it benefits them, you know, for what it can do for them. So you have to define what it is that your brand can do for people. What value does your brand have? Okay. So branding, another person, I was actually mentoring a girl today. Um, I was talking to her. Um, she's part of another marketing group and she was like, you know, I'm really struggling in my business. Um, I don't really understand branding too well. Can you help me out with like, with branding? I, I don't know. Like, I think branding is like, you know, color coordination and, you know, making sure everything looks nice and looks the same and, you know, stuff like that. And I said, yes, you know, like it's part of it. Obviously having things that match and having things that look nice and having things that go together, um, image wise, you know, graphic wise, that stuff is important for branding. I mean, logos are important, things like that, but that's not what's going to sell. Okay. So what sells is your brand. Okay. Your brand is what sets you apart. So think of this as an example. Okay. Take five seconds. Think of the brand Gucci. What are some of the things that pop into your head immediately? When you hear the word Gucci, when you hear the brand Gucci, when you see the brand, what do you think of? Okay, think of that, you know, just for a second. You think what? Money, high quality, you know, awesome. You, you Words like that pop in your mind. Why? Because they've branded themselves that way. Okay, that's what sets them apart from every other purse company, every other sunglasses company. You know what I'm saying? Like... There's so many places to buy handbags, sunglasses, and things like that. But you guys know who Gucci is, right? Because they set themselves apart in the marketplace. So that's what you guys want to do with your brand. Find those things that make your business unique 
and um, highlight those things. So let's just go over another example, okay? So we went over Gucci. So let's go over Target, okay? This one should be pretty easy. What are some of the things that come to your mind immediately when you think of Target? What do, what do you think? You immediately affordable, that pops in my mind. Um, simple, simple and affordable. Just two key words like that, okay? Simple and affordable, that pops in my mind. So why, okay? Why is simple and affordable two things that pop into your head when you think of Target? Because of Target's branding, okay? So you guys want to mold and shape the image that your your business has, okay? Um, you guys want to have control of that and shape it to what you want it to be. So, yeah, Target's awesome. <laughs> so, what is your brand? You know, what are some things that you want people to think of immediately when they think of your brand? So, for me, my brand is Boss Moms. My brand is Boss Mom. I'm Boss Mom. Hi. Okay? <laughs> so... A couple of things that I want people to think of probably immediately I hope these are the things that you think of immediately when you think of me is as a resource I hope you guys see me as a resource um, as a business resource and I hope you guys see me as a friend that's what I want I want you guys to see me as a mentor and I want you guys to see me as a friend um, you know my humor and things like that I bring value to you guys bring value to you guys with free trainings, you know, things like that. So think of that for your brand. What sort of value are you bringing people? You are going to make more sales. You're going to sell more. You're going to make more money and you're going to do better in your business. Your business is going to grow and your business is going to explode when you grow your brand and uh, just define what it is, that value that you bring out to people. The more value you give, the more you're going to get in return, okay? Every time you give value, you're going to get value back in some way. It might not be the exact same way, but that's how it works, okay? You give value, you receive value, okay? And just like stacks on top of itself, okay? It's like a snowball effect. So, if you're having trouble brainstorming and creating ideas for your brand, here are some examples of the value of my brand um, that it brings to the marketplace. Obviously, you know, yours are going to be an exact copy of mine. But um, number one for me, bringing humor into an otherwise stressful situation, okay? That is just part of my personality. And um, my brand has a lot to do with me as an influencer. So I like to be able to bring humor into a situation. Um, creating and offering free productivity printables and trainings and things that just make life easier for you guys, okay? So I target moms and moms in business. Hi, if you're a mom or a mom in business, you're probably watching this right now. <laughs> so hopefully I've done my job. So I offer free productivity, principles, live trainings, things that make life easier. And also sharing my story and being relatable, making connections with moms and moms in business. Okay, that is one thing that I think is so important that you guys don't even fully realize that you have okay you guys have such an amazing resource you already have something that sets you apart from everybody else that's you okay you set your brand apart from everybody else so share you share your life share the things that you love share your hobbies okay you are going to attract people that you are like when you share about yourself you don't have to share every single detail, you know, things like that. Be as open as you want to be, but seriously, share, 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 share your story. Be relatable. That's how you make connections with people. And when you make connections with people, your business will grow. Go ahead, Michelle. I see you have a question. So there's a question coming in from Michelle. I'll just wait for her to type it out and then I'll answer it on this live. Hi, Jen. So those are just a few of the examples of the value that my brand personally brings to the marketplace that sets me apart, okay? So remember, guys, you're not my brand. You guys aren't my company, okay? Maybe you're on my team. Maybe you're a part of my company. Um, but even if you're a part of Luminous and you're a part of my company, 
it doesn't mean that you're the same as me because you're not you shouldn't be you shouldn't want to be um it kind of like you can be in the same company but have a different brand because you want to set yourself apart from that other person okay you guys want to be different than me so you guys can be successful okay i want to be different than you guys so i can attract a different market of people so i can be successful you know when is the best time to share your story? I always feel like I might do too much. Well, honestly, I, I from personal experience, what I do is I share my story throughout the day, okay? And I schedule some of my posts in advance sometimes for this group as well as for my Facebook page. But I like to try to be as open and honest as I can, you know, follow your brand. Once you figure out those keywords, um, like, you know, how Target is affordable and simple, Gucci, money, high quality. Once you find those keywords for your brand, then you can start to like narrow it down a little bit and share things that are relatable and directly correlate to your brand. Okay. So maybe if you're a stay at home mom, okay, say you're a stay at home mom, we're just going to use this example. Um, cause that's, you know, what I'm going to be doing. I'm pregnant and I'm going to have my baby in August. Um, something that I'll be doing is, you know, I share what I'm cooking earlier today. I made like a really awesome salad and I shared a story about, you know, like, <laughs> here I am. I made some salad. It's super good. Here's the recipe real quick, you know, offering the value. So let's just go through that post. Actually, I'll tell you guys. So I made a salad that's sharing my story a little bit. I was making some food, so it tells people what I'm doing. Okay, it had a picture, so that picture was really awesome. Um, people want to look at pictures, obviously. Include pictures in your posts. You will definitely notice an increase in your engagement. Um, in the post, I gave some value by offering the recipe for free. Okay, so that's value given. And, um, you know, it just lets people know about what I'm doing and the time freedom, you know? It shows people like, oh, wow, she had enough time to go out and like make all those like salads and do all this extra stuff. Like, wow, I wish I could do that. You know, it's going to intrigue people that want to do what you do. It's going to attract those people that you want to be in your business. So you could definitely I don't think you can share too much as long as it's well thought out. You know, don't just like post a picture of food and then just that be it, you know, like. Make it into a story. Make it meaningful. Um, one really good marketing tip in general is just like be, if you're an influencer, if you own a small business, if you're a stay-at-home mom, if you're a network marketer, direct sales, anything, learn to become a great storyteller. Like learn to tell your story because it seriously it helps connect. If you can do it live, that's even better. Um, you think your brand just changed? Awesome. I hope that it inspires you to do better and, you know, really narrow things down for yourself that's awesome sweet so um they're just a few examples of my brand like i said that bring value to the marketplace and sets me apart so remember you're not my company you are you partnered with your company okay you're not your company if you focus on the value that you bring others instead of the sales statistics alone you will succeed at a much greater pace, okay? Focus on the value that you bring other people. Those are those business building activities that we're always talking about, okay? Value, bringing value, brainstorm. How can I bring value? And how do you bring value? By giving somebody something with nothing in return, okay? Expecting nothing in return. Because the way that the world works is when you give, you will get in return, okay? It might not be from that exact same person in that exact same way, but the energy that you put out, I don't know how, <laughs> the energy that you guys put out in the universe, you guys are going to get that back, okay? It's kind of how karma works. Thank you. So just make it a daily thing, not like a post once a month about why you're in business. Yeah, I mean, if you're passionate about why you're in business, which if you're not passionate about it, then you shouldn't be there. But, it, you know, you should be passionate about the business that you're in and what you're doing. So share that. 
share that with people even if it's not directly like a join my team post you know like saying join my team isn't what makes somebody want to join your team saying buy my product isn't what makes somebody want to buy your product things like seeing something that they want to have in their life is what makes somebody want to join your team or buy your product okay so if i'm somebody who works 10 hour shifts every day and I see my friend over here that says join my team I'm like okay I scroll past that but then I see my friend over here and she says oh my gosh it's a picture of her she's smiling she's in the sun she's holding a drink or something she's like at the beach I don't know and she's like oh my gosh I am like having the best day ever I just went swimming it is like I'm having so much fun I'm so happy that I have the time freedom to be able to do this I'm going to be like looking at that and I'm going to be like, what? Be like, I want to be at the beach. I want to be holding a drink. I want to be like having time freedom. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm over here stuck at my 10 hour job, which I'm not, but it's just, you know, a scenario. Think of it like that. Like which one is more intriguing to you? So become a storyteller, um, share stories and have it correlate with your brand. Okay. Um, so you guys can go ahead and on the worksheet. This worksheet I made it for you guys I hope you like it there is a little area to brainstorm some ideas for the name of your brand um, I think the name of your brand is really important it's really it, it is really important so go ahead and just you can brainstorm ideas for the name of your brand um, when you're thinking of brand naming um, ask yourself some of these questions number one what does your brand do okay who does your brand help? What are some of the key features of your brand? What things do you offer? Okay, that are value, not just products, okay? And uh, just the key features of your brand. That will help you guys to come to a conclusion for the name of your brand. So basically what I want you guys to get so far from this training is I want you guys to come up with a name for your brand if you don't already have it. Solidify the name for your brand. And also... Um, Figure out what it is about your brand that sets your brand apart from everybody else that's selling the same things or offering similar services. So what's going to bring you from just a mom and pop shop to a target? You know what I'm saying? Something that people recognize and want to buy from. So I have another page here for the training. So in direct sales and network marketing, we are in complete control of our schedules, okay? That is a super amazing part. That's one thing that I absolutely love about what I do. I love being able to control my own schedule. I love that I especially being pregnant. I love that when I'm tired, I can take a nap. Girl, I can rest. I can go to the store, I can cook, I can clean, I can work my business, I can play with my planner. I have complete time freedom. It is such an amazing feeling, okay? Um, this means that we're also in complete control of our level of success. Okay, that is an amazing thing as well. It's an amazing thing when utilized, okay? But from time to time, you are going to find yourself in what we call a network marketing slump, okay? So you're going to find yourself there. You're going to find yourself in a network marketing slump. If you haven't already, you definitely will. So prepare yourself because it's going to happen, okay? Prepare yourself right now. Okay, so having your why written out and clear will help you to stay focused and motivated when you feel as if you've lost your drive for success. I had to sneeze so bad. Excuse me. Bless me. Whew. Okay, so having your why, like I said, is going, having it written out and having it clear, it's going to help you stay focused and motivated when you guys start to dip down into those slumps, okay? In network marketing and in business and entrepreneurship, it's not like a nine to five, okay? The money's not guaranteed, and you know? So there's going to be some times where you do really, really well, Okay? And then sometimes there might be times where you don't do as well. It's a learning experience, okay? So for those times where you're not doing as well 
as you want to be. Um, having your why written down is important. So take a few minutes. I have some space on the worksheet. If you don't have the worksheet printed out, that's okay. Just go ahead and take a pen and paper and write out your why. Okay, why did you start this business? Was it for extra money? Was it to help other people? If so, was it if it was to earn extra money or help other people, how will that benefit you? How does that benefit other people? List every motivating reason that you can think of that you decided to start your business for those exact times that you have slumps because they're going to happen, okay? You need to prepare for them now so you can get through them faster and easier and back on track to success, okay? So, your why should be more powerful and deep than just earning extra money. Okay, obviously money is important, okay? It's a business, it's an important factor, but you need to focus deeper than that, okay? Why is it important to earn that money? Why is it important to earn a specific amount? Be specific, guys, okay? Why is it important that you earn that amount of money specifically from home instead of at a regular job? Why is it important to you? What impact does that earned money? It's okay to have money be a motivating factor. It is for me, okay? I'm telling you guys, money is definitely a motivating factor because I can help my family. I can help my situation. I can help other people, okay? So why is it important? What impact does that earned money have for you and your family? Think deeper. It's more than just earning money. So for me, I'll share with you guys why I do what I do and why I get up and grind and work my butt off every single day. I'll share with you guys like what keeps me going. You guys probably wonder, you know, how does she keep going all the time? How does she just go and go and go and go and do this and do that and make graphics and make live videos and do this and make training documents and print things? And first of all, I'm a little crazy, so <laughs> that's how I can do it. But also, um, my, my why, I have it really solidified, guys. And the moment that I solidified my reasoning why I'm doing this is the reason that I've been as successful as I've been. It's really when my business started to skyrocket, okay? So my why is so that I can stay at home, so I can raise my son, so I can take stress off of Andy, who's my boyfriend, and so I can be able to have nice things, okay? I like to have nice things, so I can be able to help other people, and so I can be able to buy a house. That's Those are goals that I have, and those are things that are important to me. So having that and knowing that allows me to be able to get through like the harder times, okay? So when I'm having a really rough day and I'm like, I do not want to work today because you're in control of your schedule, okay? So it's like, I don't want to work today. Uh, I don't want to. You don't have to call a boss and worry about getting fired or whatnot. If you don't show up, you're not going to make the money. If you don't show up and put the time and effort into your business, then you're not going to succeed. So um, like I said, <laughs> having those that why solidified is important for, for those exact times because they're going to happen. So I have them happen to me all the time, all the time. So immediately I'll just start to think I'm like, okay, right before this live video, I'll give you guys an example. Right before this live video, I'm exhausted. Okay. I am so exhausted. I had such a long day. It, I didn't do a whole bunch of stuff. I, you know, I had fun. I played with the dog outside. Um, I cooked food, which it took a lot out of me to do that. I am like seven months pregnant, guys. Okay, so I just I get so tired, and I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. And I, you know, I went grocery shopping, and I I walk, took a walk and mailed out some goodies for my business. So I was having a slump. Okay, it was seven fifty. And I said, you know, I got to do this live training. I said to everybody, I do this live training. Oh, I don't want to do this live training. I'm like, maybe, maybe I'll just put it off. I'm like, I was thinking to myself in my head. I'm like, oh, you know, I control it. You know, I'm the one who owns this whole thing. Like I own the group. No one's going to shame me for not going live. People will probably be disappointed. I went and I told my team like, hey, team, I'm going to do a team training. At eight o'clock, 
So I was like, oh, you know, they would forgive me. It would be okay. I was trying to talk myself out of it. You know, I was like, I'm so tired. I just want to take a nap and close my eyes. So I was sitting there and I'm just laying there and it's 7.50 and then 7.55. And I was almost on the brink of falling asleep. And then I said, you know what? No. No, that's not how we're going to do things here. No, 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 no. I can take a nap after. It's however long it takes me for this training, and then I can do what I need to do. I can relax, you know? And what got me through that was thinking, you know, what? Do, why am I doing this? Why am I here? Why am I? Why is it so important that I do this training? Because if I do this training, it's going to help people. It's going to bring value. It's going to bring brand awareness to my brand. I'm going to make more sales because of it. I'm going to recruit more people because of it. Maybe not directly, maybe not exactly you watching right now, but overall, it's going to benefit my business. And benefiting my business means that I'm going to be able to stay at home, raise my son, take stress off Andy, be able to have nice things and put savings away for my house. You know what I'm saying? Doing these things, it, having... Having my why solidifies it, okay? So having your why is very, very important. There's a couple lines there that I inserted into the document that I made for you to be able to write down your guys' why. I think that's really important. Take some time to do that. If you don't have the training document already, it's okay. Print it off if you can. If you don't have a printer, don't worry about it. Just grab a pen and a paper and write it down. So. That is that section of the training. And then we're going to go on to this dedication, okay? Um, how important is it to you that you achieve these goals, okay? So how is how important to you is your why? I, um, you know, I gave some options there. Is it very important? Is it somewhat important? Is it like, mm, meh, kind of important? Or is it like, nah, I don't, it's not that important. So circle one of those or answer that in your head to yourself. Um, how important is it to you that you achieve your goals? Um, if you answered anything other than very to that question, then you guys need to start at the beginning of the worksheet and you guys need to start at the beginning of the training and take a pen and paper and just start all over and do it all over again. Um, it is okay to take some time to complete this activity. Your business will thank you and repay you later promise so um if your why isn't like the most important thing in your life then it is um not a strong enough why then that's not your real why you need a bigger why um think deeper dream bigger and um you guys' business it will repay you guys later um you guys have totally got this i believe in you guys I know that with dedication, you guys will be successful. Um, just follow your dreams, guys. Consistency is key, okay? Consistency is so key. And I think I'll do another training on consistency and how important that is. But for now, that's all the time that we have. It is um, 8.32, so this should be about a half an hour training. Don't want it to be too long. So just remember, guys, Rome was not built overnight. That's so... Neither is your business. Your business isn't going to be built overnight. It's not going to explode overnight. I mean, it might have ups and downs, but just remember what I've said and take some notes, take some time and develop your brand, okay? Because it's important for your business, guys. <laughs> I don't I don't know how else to say that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really really appreciate your time. I appreciate you know, being able to chat with you guys and mentor you guys and help you guys out. I really do appreciate you guys. Like, it makes me feel so good that I'm able to, like, help people out. And I'm able to help you guys grow your businesses. Because I know that, like, by me taking this little bit of time, you guys are going to go out there and explode your businesses. And, like, make more money. And you guys are going to be able to, like, do the things you want to do. And it's just, it's just, it excites me. It's, it excites me. So, I just want to ask you guys... Um, this is a free training resource, absolutely free. Like you don't have to pay anything for it, <laughs> which is pretty sweet. 
accents, a lot of things. Nowadays, it's like you have to pay for things and trainings and arms and legs. So what I'm going to ask you guys to do is if you got any value from this video, go ahead and just invite five friends to this group. So and then tag them in this training. Just invite five friends and you can tag them in this training if you want. If not, just invite five friends because I feel like this group needs to be shared with more people. So think about five people that you could invite to this group and go ahead and invite them. I would really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful and blessed Thursday night. Bye.